Today is a day of readjusting, so lasses are all part of the learning process. Bouncy flats versus dagger spray early. I mean, all right. This time I will not disrespect the guardian. I learned my lesson. Some crazy aggressive early cards. I mean, it's kind of incredible. These aggressive cards are insane. Aggressive cards are absolutely insane. Yeah, the two hundred was a lot, even with the Soju. Uh, finisher was probably better, but I figured two energy. I have Choker's not a bad card with two energy, as you'd expect. So I had four energy. I mean, I don't think it was a bad choice because Finisher I didn't have that many things to go with. I should have blocked there for survivor. That guy was to die anyways. But as a result, I actually got less, uh, a little bit less dazed. So that's a, a good thing. I should try. Maybe I should try to bouncing flash. See what it hit. Bouncing flash hit him. I could have done an extra strike. Little things like that. Overall, good fight. Tough advantages. Okay. Oh my god. We find calculator gamble guys, and we rejoice to the heavens. So Wally Plans versus Poison Stab, what do you guys think? I'll do the Wally Plans, but like, Poison Stab is... Very interesting consideration. This is a good example of like, Wally Plans is so bad on their energy. Didn't Wally Plans used to cost, um, zero? You know, ever since they upgraded the cost of Wally Plans, I really should be reanalyzing my choice of it. Why energy is a lot at this point of the run. Anyways, Calculate Gamble is huge if we get it. So Reflex is a discard. We have tough bandages. I don't know if that's really active. Oh, okay, got Kunai. Okay, these are insane relics. Kunai tough bandages are S tier. Absolute S tier here. Well, I'm going fast on these runs because um, it takes a while. I want to get like the first three runs knocked out. I don't want to have to like belabor myself over calculated gamble. All right, calculated gamble. We see it. We take it. There it is. And there it is. What's up, Dupuy uh, Lebit? How you doing, man? This run's fantastic. This run is going very well. And this agony with the kunai sounds just fine. And this agony has some stuff with Calculate Gambo as well. Now, if we just duplicate Calculate Gambo a couple times over, and this is great. I think she's just, she just supplemental. This deck is very strong start. So, as far as the opening is concerned, this is a great one. Alrighty. Cloak and Dagger with Kunai. You don't gotta tell me twice. Cloak and Dagger with Kunai. Let's make that a thing.
Um, I can do perfect in this fight. Perfect doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll just do this. It really doesn't matter. This fight's solved. This fight is solved. If I just, if I, if I just like I said, if I do look at that cock of the gamble, oof. Let's keep the deck small. Let's keep this deck nice and small. Let's hold on to uh, cloak and dagger so we can have a Kunai proc. Or not. Let's try again. Never mind, not worth it. Hold on to this beautiful calculated gamble. Freedom is ours. Okay, so this starts fantastic. Corp explosion is so damn good. Oh my god, we have all the plans for grand finale, but corp explosion is so damn good. I'm sorry. Sneko, and that's interesting because we have bouncing flask. And Corp Explosion. Calculate Gamble becomes a little bit harder to play with Sneko Eye. But Sneko Eye draws 7 cards a turn. Which means we'll see Calculate Gamble more often. Eh, the cost will be variable. And we're going to be struggling for energy if it hits 3 cost. And Bullet Time exists, of course. Um, we don't have that. Bouncing Flats, Corp Explosion is a good reason for Sneko. The alternative is Ring of the Serpent. And we say I draw seven, uh, 6 cards a turn. Which is also helping me draw into Calculate Gamble. And it makes the gamble that much more effective. Now we're going to be struggling for energy. With Serpent, we're going to have a Bouncing Flask and a Corpse Explosion in the deck. So it's between Serpent and Sneckle for me. And this Agony for Sneckle is really bad as well. And this Agony for Sneckle is really bad. Now I can always remove Endless Agony and then just have Sneckle Y, right? So but this deck doesn't have to stay like this. I can just remove Endless Agony and then we have Sneckle Y, which is very good. Um, you know, Bouncing Flask, Corp Explosion, plus the card draw from Sneko is just, it's just very good. So we have some curses in the beginning, so the beginning of Act 2 will be a little bit rough. But we have very powerful relics that offset the roughness of Act 2. And we can remove Endless Agony, we can remove some of the stuff that's awkward, and of course, Cockle Gamble is not as effective. I'm gonna do this. I can even do Sozu, I don't care about potions as much when I have this crazy-ass relic. So maybe energy wasn't too bad there. Because, uh, okay, like, I lose potions, but, like, with tough bandages, four energy, and kunai, and a calculate game already in my deck, this deck is struggling to suffer at all in Act 2 with an extra energy. Now that I didn't take the energy, I'm going to suffer in Act 2. But my goal is that I will have potions to offset that a little bit, and maybe suffer less in... I'm gonna, am I going to force this for Act 3? I don't know if that's a good idea. Looks like I am. Looks like I am. Yeah, we're going to be suffering for energy. And our deck does lack damage. Kunai is a... Kunai is a Kunai proc, but... Like, super is pretty efficient for blocking. Uh... Okay, never mind. We have lethal, don't we? Um, six, six, ten, ten, sixteen, seven. Well, flex pot versus uh, fear pot. Uh, we get the bites. If I was glitching, this is a bite skip. This becomes this makes the run so good. I wish bite skip was a thing, guys, in the game. 
Just remove five strikes. And now we have calculated gamble even quicker. Unfortunately, I don't know if I want bites. Give me a second. Okay. So this gives me stain possibilities, but um, yeah, I'm not sure I want the bites here. I will be down to 53 max HP. I will lose life right now. I'll lose 15 life. So I'm losing 15 life. And I'll have strikes that can heal me now. Hmm. <laughs> Corpus explosion. Corpus explosion is so stupidly good. Noxious Tombs versus <laughs> the... This is pretty much... I think it's a little bit better just because I have Bag of Marbles and I want to kill him quickly. Kill him quickly is the goal. This is worth it, I would say. To me, this is worth it because I get to kill both of them. And then, um, you know, it's one potion for... This seems worth it to me. Although, yeah, that's a very strong potion to get, give up. Because I am a discard deck with tough advantages. So that's a tough potion to give up. But it's been done. Preserving my life total here. This guy is insane. Corpus Explosion is also a superstar in this fight. So you know what we do? Well, first and foremost, we can knock one of them down. Immediately. And then that guy is going to be the Corpus Explosion target. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Did they fix glitches? Uh, I don't think they fix glitches. I'm not doing this because they fix glitches. I'm doing this because I have found glitches and now I want to go back to the, the game. I want to reverse the Deadly Poison. Don't think I need Deadly Poison here. I have Bouncing Flash, Noxious Fume, Scorpion Explosion. My damage is a little bit low. I can't really play Bouncing Flash that consistently. But, uh. Yeah, this our maneuver is, gives me energy. We can utilize energy, but. I can't really get our maneuver into play. Skip here. I think this is going to be very important for all the elite fights. AKA slavers and stuff like that. Getting that poison is pretty important. Full block. But once you survive on 3 energy here, it's like... Game changing. Good night proc. Kunai proc indeed. It's going very smooth. Another Kunai proc here. We also have Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes is pretty important to play. And Corp Explosion I think is less important to play now. Mm, hopefully we have enough damage. That was probably a decent time earlier to do Flex Pot. This is probably a decent time to do flex pot as well. Maybe we do flex pot with the next a uh, next cloak and dagger, or we can let end second get even bigger. Not that big. Hmm. I, I I gotta hurry up. I can't really stall this fight. I have to push for damage. I have to push for damage. So I'm I'm taking the wrong approach here. Uh, next turn we don't take any damage, so this is fine. But yeah, I'm going a little bit slow. We should be able to kill the next two turns. Just take no damage here. And then um we don't I don't actually have to flex by here. I can save my potions because 
Right now I do 16 damage. Um, yeah, I will flex spot actually. Otherwise, it's gonna be tr troublesome to win. Tactician, ooh, that gives us energy now. That sounds insane. Concentrate gives us energy and a lot of block. However, I don't have enough cards to make concentrate. Whereas, tactician, I have survivor and calculate gamble. So tactician just feels right because it also solves energy. Without this, doesn't have the card draw aspect to it. But let's say I do concentrate. Bouncing flash is a lot more playable of concentrate. But I still don't have the card draw. I'm gonna do tactician first. And that was a quick flash plush as well. Survivor and Gamble. Yeah, I know. I know that's all. Why is just a little bit awkward with this energy right now? That's just the nature of it right now. Yeah, Prepare Plus would be fantastic. Wow. Wow, what a good, uh, what a good little, Kaka game was just so nice. It's just so nice. Look at that. Tools would be fantastic. So now we're getting out for Concentrate again. Or Dagger there for more discard. Concentrate, I just don't have the card draw for it, right? I just don't see, I don't, Concentrate discard three is, it's too detrimental. I just don't see it here. Centennial is fantastic. That is card draw. So now we have to do we upgrade or do we rest? We have to fight the slavers or golden leader. Now our our deck is pretty good against slavers or golden leader because we have corp explosion and we get to it pretty quickly. But I only have 35 life. So I think I'll rest here just to be safe. Um and then we can go to the shop and go for another fight. Let's see what this is. I want to do Bouncing Flask, but I don't want to take damage. Eh, I'll take damage, it's fine. Flesh Wound. We got a Bullet Time. <laughs> that gave us a zero cost Bullet Time. That Chrysalis. That Chrysalis is. That would have been huge for the boss. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Got a malaise. Wow. That turn was incredible. That turn was incredible. Holy crap. Jesus. Ow. Yes, what's up, Terrible General? No, no glitches today. Plans is in effect yet, but don't hurt me, sir. 26 plus 11. You need 2 HP, my friend. 2 HP. After image. Whoa! After image. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? What? What? If you get through Act 2, Act 3 is looking very nice. Act 3 is looking very, very nice. Very nice. The Blood Plants becomes even better. We don't have Corpus yet, right? Corpus is coming up, so let's just block as much as we can. And then Corpus comes to the thing, so let's block as much as we can.
Corpse wins next turn. Simple as that. Corpse is just that good. Corpse is just that good. Gotta love it. Acrobatics. Get in here. More energy. We're starving. We are starving. Starving Marvin here. Can I proc? Do it. Short form fight. I don't care about any of this agony. That's a wally plans. I'm gonna hold on to tactician. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be daring. I'm gonna be bold. That's why we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Look at that energy. Look at that energy. Unbelievable. GG. These relics are superstars. Superstar relics. A leg sweep versus a dodge and roll. Dodge and roll is kunai. It's a leg sweep plus. But dodge and roll is kunai. A leg sweep plus. Wow. Are we able to survive this? I think we are. So what we want to do is... Um... Upgrade while they plan so it's stronger for Act 3. Because I think we could just... Actually, how do we... We just scale up a kunai. We, get, we scale up a kunai and we become huge. That's what we do here. Scale up kunai become huge. So I can do this for Act 3. Uh, it's going to be a slow fight, but we just scale up kunai and get huge. Survive. And then Act 3 is hopefully some energy and some, some better rares. And you know, we'll see what we can do. But this is, a, I think, a decent card for Act 3. I'm also thinking about this because my poison is... Like, sort of shoddy. I don't need to neutralize as much because I have Leg Sweep um, for Weaken. Uh, neutralize helps me with the Weaken, of course. I think this for Act 3 or this, since that is my main source of. Ah, eh, Corpse Explosion, though. Corpse Explosion can add poison. Perfect, we got Kunai Proc already. Worth it to me. Could have held on to that for the next turn, but oh well. I don't want to get rid of both of these, so I want to just get more Kunai procs, right? Lexi from that. And we want to get to like 20,000 dexterity so we can never lose. That's the goal. Quite simply. Quite simply, that's the goal. Three dexterity already. I want the Kaku Gamble, but I also want this Cloak and Dagger. Kunai proc, remember that's the name of the game. You see Kunai proc, you take it. Another Kunai proc, right there. It's five dexterity. Do I let go of Ennis Agony to do more Kunai procs? No, nah, I don't need. I don't need to get greedy here. Don't need to get greedy here. I don't need to take one damage at all. Although take one damage makes you draw more cards. Nah, let's not. If we can perfect it, why not, huh? As long as it's not overly disrupting our goals. I can do Corpse Explosion to speed up the damage a little bit, but uh, I think maybe I don't speed up the damage. Maybe I just want to really stall. Really, really, really stall for uh, a Kunai proc here. Alright? Unless I want to just help the poison speed along and get this moving along, I think I'd rather just keep stalling. After a turn like this, now nah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Another Kunai proc. Wow. John, Jim, Joe, Bob. Yeah, Sullen is hot right now. She's the flavor of the month right now, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. 
another kunai proc. I think we're done with kunai procs. So what we're gonna do is corpse this man. I'm done with and the second. I don't want it anymore. Give me calipers. More corpse. More corpse right now. Maybe I should just take the corpse so I have more poison for this, but this should be fine. It's gonna proc right here. But I think I'd rather do this. I wanna hold on to the neutralize for the next turn. So I'm gonna do this. Alright, and 118 damage is not too bad. Got the neutralize. Actually, I can draw into. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this. Why, why take a chance? Why take a chance? Tactician, you love to see it. You love to see it. I, so we're gonna forget about perfects, right? Or do you guys want perfect for a score? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me? I can just do this and take damage. I don't care about perfect. I don't know about you guys, but I don't care about perfect. I really don't care. Since we already lost perfect, why not just forget it all together? I mean, losing more life doesn't help for the next act, though. That's a lot of dexterity. I mean, okay. I guess perfect was possible, but... Eh. Alrighty, ready, ready. Rayform plus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Slaver's Caller. It's like... <laughs> Slaver's Caller is a no-brainer. Storm was not bad. It discards and gives you kunai. Right? But that's Rayform Plus. Gotta find this girl. How many leads can we do here? Can we do three leads or just... Maybe just one? Let's go over here and find out. But Storm Steel requires a hand to discard. Let me explain the dilemma of Storm Steel, guys. Alright. It requires me cards to discard. I don't... It's like, I don't have that much card draw. Imagine Storm Steel right now if I didn't have energy. There's three energy. Storm Steel is like, okay. Um, we can just Rayform here. And... Pass. Rayform in the Corpus Explosion. Simple as that. If I don't do that, I could do Leg Sweep. It's just Rayform here. <laughs> uh, it's a whole hand wasted, but now we have Corp Explosion. That's the goal, at least. Corp Explosion, here it is. Beautiful. Um. Could have Corp Explosion the other guy, but. Actually, the other guy was actually more correct. Took some damage there. Acrobatics for more card draw. It's going to be quite nice with the Tactician in the deck. And Piercing Wall is obviously very good. Piercing Wall Plus is fantastic. I don't have a single Piercing Wall in the deck. This is going to be quite nice with Slaver's Caller and Tactician in the deck. Yeah, but like... In general, even that's not good. I'm discarding five other cards just to get five block and like nine stuff like that. It's just not good. Another after image. Sadistic nature. You guys want to see sadistic nature? So this guys can take my damage to the next level. You guys want to see something? Crazy and weird, or nah, save my money, huh? There's another shop. I could do something crazy and weird, or I could save my money. You guys want to see this? And it just feels like win more out at this point. Because, like, I, it does help with damage for sure, and but not enough for me to 
justify taking it. I'm taking rid of this. And uh, it doesn't do enough to justify. Bottle Tornado. While the plans are noxious fumes. Wow. Uh. Well, while the plans early is really strong. But since I'm struggling for damage, getting noxious fumes out early could help me um get my damage out early. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. While the plans also uh, noxious fumes helps me against the reptomancer as well. I think it's always noxious fumes there. Lose a strike. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, this is a fight and a half, huh? Brutal. I guess we're gonna have to rest our little face off. See, this is why we don't have. Once Slaver Collar comes into play, though, the turn's a little bit more manageable. We're gonna get a nice little, um. We're gonna get ourselves a nice little um moving hand out of nowhere. It's gonna happen. I'm probably not gonna play while the plans inside of the Rayf uh, Awaken One fight. That's true. And also, um, I am really curious to get the Nitro Shrooms out early and the Act 4 Elite as well. And I have enough Cycle on my deck that Wally Plants doesn't need to be in my opening hand. I have this little Ring of the Serpents for Act 1 bus. Yeah. Not that much energy going on here. Not that much energy. The chest can bump our damage up. But how much does it bump it up? Is it significant? If we had Shuriken, then yes. If the chest bumps it up significantly. But we don't have Shuriken, so it does not bump it up significantly. Now we got a recall at some point. I, this is distracting the crap out of me at this point. Um, Recall, but I also got to make sure to survive this. I think we should survive it. But if I were to upgrade, what would I upgrade? I recall get it out of the way for sure. It does look very similar. Yowza. Don't curse me, brother. Don't curse me, brother. Uh, this fight's annoying. My damage is a little slow. But should be fine. Now we can just do Rayform and pass. As long as we don't get cursed, I am happy. As long as I don't get cursed, I am happy. What's up, Afamas? Uh, we don't need Callus necessarily. It would help a lot immensely. You guys like Summer Steel, but I think I like the backflip for card draw. I have acrobatics, though. Let's take a look. Stormer Steel, I still don't think is good. Because it, it turbo, turbo charges my Kunai, but I have Rayform in the deck. But I need to damage, not turbo charge Kunai. And how does backflip help me get damage? Well, backflip. It doesn't. Look, memories. That does help. Damage. Damage, damage, damage. Or more Crackler Gamble. More Crackler Gamble can win anything. 
the fact that it discards does not does not make it more interesting to me, guys. It's a block card that gives me some super scaling. I think we care about damage. I don't, I don't care about anything else. I do like Clockwork Souvenir. If I can stop the Vulnerable, that could buy me time. I found it, Terrence. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I, I went to your stream. Thank you, man. How'd your stream go today? Practicing Defect, yeah? So is it like a consensus that Defect is the hardest class in terms of a win percentage? You think Clockwork Souvenir is worth it here? Yeah, sure. I also stops Rayform. And Dodge and Roll is a really good block card with a Kunai. Um, do I want another Dodge and Roll with Kunai, or is that redundant? I'd rather keep the deck small for Calculator Gamble, yeah? You woke up too early, so you threw a run, and you went 3-5 instead of 4-4? Four, four. Yeah, I know that feeling. I threw all four runs today in the morning, so I'm with you. You think people argue Ironclad? Ironclad is not the worst. No, I think Defect is the least inconsistent, is the most inconsistent. Silent for sure is right up there. Strong, really strong with the Watcher. Um, a second dodge and roll, number two, with this Kunai. That's like a really powerful block card. We have a lot of block though, guys. These five defense are feeling really out of place. And once we play all these powers, the deck is pretty streamlined. I want to pass. Got to get rid of that. Damage is the biggest thing now. Man, energy, of course. Once we get Slaver's Caller, we won't feel as bad. But man, these hallway fights are a little bit brutal with the energy. I was thinking of just doing League of Memories on that Corpus Explosion, but this fight is actually winnable without that. Like, it's just an overreaction. I don't- I don't need to do that at all. First one I didn't use Calculate Gambit on site. We have energy for this. So we have full energy for the fights that matter. Yeah, no, the Watcher is crazy. Watcher is crazy. Alright. We only have 36 life, though. I'm happy with after after noxious uh, poison. I'm happy with I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this turn. I can always bouncing flash one of these uh, two cost cards. Calculate gamble we drew. I think corpus explosion has to carry us here, of course. Rayform now seems a little bit premature. Corpus explosion for sure is game over. Wally plans before we play. Calculate gamble. And now acrobatics. Cycle our whole deck. Get right back into Calculate Gamble, no problem. Let's get a nice little Kunai proc. Let's hold on to the acrobatics. And let's tell this Reptomancer that if I had calibers, you'd be crying, but you now we, we cycle the whole deck now, so we're gonna get back into Corp Explosion and most importantly reform.
40 damage is a lot with no weaken, huh? It might be working liquid memories just to keep digging. I don't mind doing liquid memories to keep digging. I take a little bit of damage. It's, it's negligible. I take a, neg a negligible amount of damage. Let's keep the potions. By negligible, I mean one. <laughs> I got from now. I think we win now. Hmm. It's a lot of calculated gambles. I mean, a lot of, uh, ooh, we got, ooh, very nice. Yeah, this is GG. It's a lot of endless agony there. <laughs> That's awkward because I want to play that first. Uh, so I wanted to wait for him and then cut the game with drawn to that. I messed I messed that up. So now I'm actually gonna have to do acrobatics, tactician, reform, corp explosion. I fucked that up. This is fine though. This works out. So I'll hold on to these bad boys. And uh GG. Yeah, we'll keep the liquid for sure. So we took some damage in this fight. It wasn't too bad. Could be a lot worse. I don't hate it. Don't love it. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta rest probably. Vajra, very nice. Footwork. I dare say footwork. Okay, it accelerates the process, but with calculated gamble and kunai, I don't think footwork's here. It's just not the pick here. We have double after image. I just, I pass. More card draw. How much discard do I have? I have two acrobatics, but reflex acrobatics is like is overdrawing most of the time. Uh, like absolutely, especially with endless agony, that's overdrawing most of the time. And then I have survivor and calculated gamble. I don't think we take reflex here. Um Yeah, we don't have prepared or, or concentrate. Concentrate just wasn't the thing for us. This is a tough fight. They do a lot of damage. I take a little bit of time to set up, and as you can realize, <laughs> I uh. Take a little bit of damage here. I wonder if I do Liquid Memories just to get. Gnai proc and full block, but I'd rather save Liquid Memories for if I'm about to die. Um, unfortunately, it's taking seven damage here. Seven damage. All right. We're very low in life. We got Rayform, very nice. We got Rayform and Corp Explosion, though. So I can look at memories one or the other. Because we're for sure playing Rayform. And maybe I just make memory scope explosion. I don't know. Or maybe we'll draw back into it. Who knows? Who knows? Let's find out. Of course, this is a hallway fight, so Slaver's Caller doesn't help us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want to mess around with that anymore. Uh, this is bad because I don't have. GG. It was scary, but... Alright, we lost a League of Memories. RIP. Maybe I could have held on to it, I don't know. Maybe I was a pansy. Another Acrobatics, even more card draw to go with this super psycho-heavy deck. It's, the third one seems a little bit too much. 
right? Or is it? I don't know. We have tactician, we have calculator gable. I mean, how much is it? If I had another tactician, perhaps. One more tactician, this would make sense. Don't know if the third one's that correct here. The deck's still struggling for damage. I also take a lot of damage as well. Uh, turn one is pretty rough for me. Turn one is pretty rough. Hmm. These defends are feeling really bad. I would like to remove my t whole top half of the deck. Yeah, we need to solve energy. We need another tactician or something. Let's fight again. Three energy wonder. Uh, let's see. Ooh. The reason why I did that is because I want to make sure I'm not dying before I do what I did. I can't do Ray from just yet. But I also need to. And that's a lot of stuff that I want to play, but I can't. Um, I mean, I could block this, actually. I can actually block this. And we can hold on to Reform, I suppose. And Noxious. I'll wait for Tactician. And when Tactician comes... Didn't really help me yet, but we can block this yet again. And now we can do some stuff. Alrighty. That's good damage. The deck is very setup-y. It just feels really bad on these hallway fights. Just don't curse me. Okay. I want to hold on to these bad boys. This is the last hallway fight, yep. It's the last one. But now Rayform's about to run out and I'm... I haven't done that much damage. I'm a little bit terrified here of getting a curse. I want to get this, but I'm also terrified of the curse. I'm terrified of the curse. There's no point in doing it, right? It's an extra... Can we survive? Yeah, Kaka Game was coming up. Okay. We have two dexterity as well. So we don't attack, right? We're scared. We're, we're scared to look. Cram Brook. Scared to death. He's scared. Okay, let's do this. We did it. Ah. Oh. Oh. We did it. Six HP. I'll take one back lip. Please don't hurt me. Ah, uh, this is a. Uh, <laughs> Do I have corp explosion? Let's talk about it. This is not considered an elite, so I'm three energy. I leave. Sorry, guys. Three energy is not considered an elite. Corp explosion is not good enough. And now we talk about this fight because this fight, uh, this fight, I was debating whether or not play after image. I don't have a way to mitigate multi attacks. And Noxious Shumas is like some of my only way of scaling. But okay, I can go ultra slow in this fight, and I'm talking. Kill these guys as quick as I can with Corp Explosion, right? There's maybe even a, an argument to Ray from the first three turns. There's an argument for Ray from the first three turns. And then get so much Kunai that his strength doesn't matter.
but I want to play Corp Explosion. Ah, uh, it's imperative. And... This is tough, because Reform got drawn early. And Noxious Zooms helps me... I don't even think I can play Noxious Zooms either. If I do Noxious Zooms, the multi is going to be brutal. But manageable. Alright. Let's kill this guy ASAP, and as long as we kill this guy ASAP, we're A-OK. -okay. Leg sweep is here. I want to do the leg sweep, but I also want to kill this guy quickly, right? So let's do a couple things. Let's draw some more. Leg sweep again. Just so he's weakened next turn. Or just more card draw. What do you guys think? Leg sweep again. Or more card draw. This is actually a, a decent time to do Wally plans and hold on to Cockle Gamble for the multi attack. It might be worthwhile to hold on to Cockle Gable for the big attack. And, uh, yes, he gets more strength, but what if that gives me a lot of flexibility? Uh, killing this guy is also the number one priority right now. So, killing this guy and getting Kunai, right? But I think we do this. Now, this needs to hit this guy right here. Perfect. Now, Kaka can we hold on to it? Now, if you want to do Leg Sweep for the weekend, absolutely. Acrobatics, I was thinking about. I don't know. I think Acrobatics is also pretty good. Leg Sweep, probably better. We're always holding on to this. The weekend just seems pretty important. It mitigates a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can kill this man with endless agony right now. So this guy needs 12 damage to die. And we have leg sweep. We can apply. GG. Now we can hire we can hire ourselves to death. And it's GG. Just taking five damage, GG. Okay, cool. All right now is the Kunai train. I haven't seen light in a while. Kunai. And even at some point we could even start doing after image stuff. But that's not right now. What a good turn. What a nice turn. Next turn is a painful one, but luckily we have weaken. And more weaken. Very nice. Let's try to get ourselves that beautiful Kunai proc. There it is. And there she blows. Let's hold on to these bad boys. All right, guys, grab your pillows, grab a snack. We got a we got a, a plan for the fight. We've got to execute it. It's gonna take a while, but we should win. I want to hold on to calculate for a more important turn, but I also want to get Kunai right now. That's not very feasible, anyways. So we'll just do this. Hold on to weaken. It's foolproof. And now we didn't get any duplicate. Like. There could be Dolly's Mirror. I don't know if we have enough money for Dolly's Mirror. I don't think we're going to have enough money, but... We didn't get any... Um... Any duplicate. And no more Cocktail Gamble. It's just like... I want to hold on to for the better turn. I might have just lost. I will be fine, but... I meant to hold on to that for a better turn. Oh, we fine. Oopsies. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. 
You're so beautiful, buddy. Hold on to this for the uh, first. So if I do a uh, reform right now, I don't take any damage on the next. Let me see something. That's a kunai proc. I could do. I could do reform now, or I could just wait for the next. I mean, I, I could do a lot of things. Um, I can hold on to this bad boy. And, uh, alright, but how do we survive the next boss fight? Holy shit, that's the other issue. The next boss fight is kind of dangerous. is really dangerous actually this is a this is a Boston Terrier this is a Boston Terrier the next boss fight is extremely dangerous I don't I could read from here but it's also not necessary either Probably make a mention to do um weekend as much as possible. Dono Deco is gonna be a doozy. Hold on to my damage and this fight. I should do ray form. Let's just hold on to it and use it. Get it out of the deck. Why not? Right from turn one for Don't Duck is fine though. That's the thing. Because that can kunai scale and hopefully just kill the guy quickly. With my, the problem is my damage. I have corporate explosion, but like... I don't actually... Uh, I have to get rid of the artifacts, and then I have to like do 200 points of damage. Uh, we'll see. Time meter is manageable, in my opinion. Time meter is manageable. We don't have any like we, have, we actually don't have that many relics either. It's sort of a poverty run, just a, a tiny bit. We have great relics, the relics that we do have, but I, I don't have that many compared to what I'm used to, at least. God, that's just save us here. But this next boss, let's see what we got. Alright, Rift from Turn 1 would be good. Do I want double after image before playing escape plan or do I want to dig for Rift from potentially? Um. damage there is a consideration because taking one damage there is not bad because we get to get into ray foam right but we got to get corpus explosion on him immediately there's the corpus explosion we have the weaken um is that good enough we also have kunai prox ah it's a tough turn all right so corpus explosion is imperative i want to get the poison going asap and the weak is pretty strong as well. Alright, so we hold on to these kunai procers, yeah? 
And then, of course, there's also our damage. We need as much damage as possible. And now it's a race for who can hit these big damages first. Now, what I like about this is that, yes, I found Rayform, but I have calculated gamble that I can hold on to this. As much as I want to hold on to Rayform, I guess I could do Rayform and then just calculate gamble for other turns. I think we calculate gamble first. And I know we're getting a lot of days. It's going to be a hard time to find Rayform again. But a part of me doesn't want to play it now because I just want to get Kunai procs and do a big calculated. So. I want to get the Kunai procs. I'm not to mention this damage. I can hold on to Rave Horn here. Yeah, let's do that. that that's the least the compromise I can make. That charm was good enough. I'm more weakened. And I could do um, another Kunai proc and yeah, maybe the fight's just outscaled, but uh Alright, I have an idea. I do this, so now I weaken both of them. I hold on to these two bad boys again. The damage is still ticking down, right? He's trying to get lower and lower on life, and I have this Rayform button that will save me an immense amount of time. And this is a Corp Explosion. So we actually have enough block, funny enough. Taking more damage is just a flesh wound. And now we have these two buttons to, to survive two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. It should be GG very soon. I may not even need Rayform. I mean, my block is so stellar, I don't need Rayform, which is a good sign. You don't even need Rayform. It's a very good sign. When you don't need Rayform, I guess things are going well. Get rid of some of those dazed. Number over my head. Number over my head where? Ah, yeah, it's showing me the damage. Reform button. GG. Just in case this guy thought he was staying alive, rest assured he is not staying alive because that's double corp explosion onto his face. Triple, in fact, that's 822 damage. You're not surviving that. And we're back down to 1902. This is the, the humbling numbers of this fire. Another calculator gamble would be sick. I think calculator gamble number two would solve the run. Although Catalyst would be nice as well. If we were to upgrade, what would it be? Uh, hmm. 15 life versus upgrade. I'd probably upgrade the card draw so I can see the things I want to see more often, such as Calculator Gable, Rayform, Tactician. So Acrobatics Plus is a consideration. But 15 life is 15 life. It is, Salem. 15 life is 15 life. Oh, hi, Waffle. Oh, Power Pot. Power pot, power pot, power pot. Card draw and patience is not bad. Another clock cloak and dagger does improve our ability to kunai skill. But uh, I think I like power pot the most here. And another acrobatics? Mm. I like the power pot. I like the acrobatics number three. I mean, how much has card draw been doing for us? Quite a bit, huh? I mean, we could do dash, but dash doesn't seem right. Um, I think it's acrobatic should pass here. The deck is pretty lean, queen, lean, lean cuisine, but you know there is the statuses that happen in the spire here in these next two fights. So here, ju this just in, guys. We had kunai and no blade is offered. Nope, <laughs> not a single blade has been offered. Um, there's a couple things that haven't been offered to us, actually. No Blade Dances. And we didn't really get that many Calculate Gambles, but that's pretty par for the course. 
Whatever. We'll make do with what we have. Another acrobatics real quick. Let me take a look. Four energy. We're grooving. I think we're grooving here. Let's go. We are grooving. Now that is a leg sweep. Huh. But Noxious is so important to play. <laughs> this sucks. Like so many good cards I can't play. So many good cards I cannot play. Ready for him now? <laughs> I don't think so. Corpse explosion button. I mean, a uh, calculate gamble button. Uh, the problem with calculate gamble button is that I'm opting not to play ray form, and that feels like a bad move because the next couple turns are going to be rough. I can get back into the ray form, of course, and it's important that I get corpse explosion out on this guy, but if I don't ray form, the next two turns are kind of rough. You think I cycle quick enough? I don't know because both my acrobatics are in his hands. So I'm going to draw one, two, I'm going to draw eight cards. I have 15 cards in my deck. And then I have two burns that got added. So the next one I got to survive a big attack, right? This guy's attacking me. And uh, my block here is not that great. My block here is not that great. So we do this. We cycle a little bit more. And we need to get Corpse Explosion out. In fact, we need to get Wally Plans out so I can hold on to Ray Form. That's the ideal thing. Is to get... The ideal thing here is to get... Wally Plans so I can hold on to Ray Form. Ah, uh, so Acrobatics has to hit Wally Plans. That's kind of a gamble. Because then I can't play... Alright. It's worth taking a look, I suppose. Perfect. Sometimes it's just that easy, huh? Alright, now it's GG. Alright. So we took some damage, but that should be enough life for the heart. Should be enough life for the heart. Alrighty. More damage, though. More damage, more damage, more damage. Not enough damage here. GG. Alright, we got 69 gold, which is quite nice. We've got... Uh, a power pot and an artifact to stop the vulnerable from the heart. And also to stop the Rayform debuff. And most importantly, we have lethal. And even if we didn't, we had full block. Pocket watch. Dexterity pie. Ah, dexterity pie versus artifact. Artifact stops the vulnerable, which is huge. It also... We already have an artifact, right? So... We can save one artifact for the vulnerable. And then we can also do one for the Rayform. How important is it to stop the Rayform debuff? Perhaps pretty important. So that I don't have to constantly battle against... Uh, you know, negative dexterity, and I can actually outscale the heart a little bit. Tools of the trade is good. Tools of the trade is good. Pocket watch is not gonna get that. Not gonna be that relevant. I do agent here. Yes, yes, yes. And I could force myself to draw now, but I think I'd rather. Wow, this is a good turn. Wow, we got all the plans. Whoa. One, two, three. This is a good turn. Oh, 
What a turn. Power pot now? What could the power pot be? If it's ray form? Do I use it? Just use it? If it's ray form? If it's cow traps, play it. If it's well they plant, retain four, retain three, I mean. If it's after image, well of course. In Venom, while they plant accuracy. So we're gonna retain three. Unblocked attacks can apply poison, which helps me with debuffs, right? So it can help me play uh I can help with skill damage, but how many attacks do I do? I mean, I'm going to be doing Kunai, right? I'm not going to proc puzzle, guys. I have after image times two. We're not proc and puzzle. Forty-five. Hey. We can dig here first. I can dig for Rayform and proc Rayform now, just to get this out of the way. Yeah, let's dig for Rayform here. Alright. We have Weakens. It's not that big of a deal, actually. This should be a pretty easy fight. I think we get towards the trade out, we get Noxious Zooms out, we get the Weaken out. We hold on to these poisons. He's not even weakened, so let's let's weaken him. Thirty-three. All right. I want to play these powers. I want to hold to my damage. Of course, I want to get Kunai procs as well. Uh, this is a small amount of damage to take. It's whatever. I could do Rayform now. Definitely don't do Rayform now. Never, never, never. Alright, so we do Knight proc, we do damage. This is a great turn for us. It's really looking up for us here. This is a really good turn for us. We get damage here with this. We can get Core Explosion out into the mix, so poison is just all up in his face. I don't even care if I take damage here. This poison is so important. This poison is so important. That the number one thing I lack is damage. Now we could calculate gamble. We can also do reform. Hold on to calculate gamble is also insane. I mean, I have a lot of options. I have an incredible amount of options here. I like getting rid of this curse. I also like getting Kunai proc here. I get rid of Endless Agony though, it gets, it gets harder to do Kunai procs. Now, Pocket Watch is not something I care about because I have Calculate Gamble and Rayform in my hand. So, I could just do Kunai proc and get rid of this. It's going to be harder to do it thereafter. So, I wonder if it's worth it. Is it worth going to proc when... Whoa, my game crashed. Hey, come back here. Hello? Well. So, what was going on? I have to do that whole fight over again? You guys can see the screen? Oh my lord. Alright, so we decided that we really want to do this poison, yeah? I don't remember if I did backflip or not. I don't remember if I did backflip or not last time. I remember I did all the poison, but I don't know if I did backflip. Sort of too late now, huh? Uh, we hold the Golden Dagger, yeah, for sure. Something is different here. Proc. Ah, can I proc? Ah, 
next turn sucks. I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste these things. Night proc. This is blockable, yeah? 60 damage? Or is this a. Um, is this Rayform button for the next two turns until I get my grip? Or. Like, I can do Rayform button now for the next couple turns to get, catch my grip? Or I could. The thing is, I'm really behind on damage. But I'm gonna be skilling with Kunai. Let's see how much block we have. Can do the math here. So I have 16, 27, 27 block, 27 plus, uh, plus three, of course. So 30 block, 30, 48, I'm taking 12. I'm taking 12, and I don't have weaken. I'll keep the curse in the deck, though. We didn't have weak in there. Um, this is good. Can I proc now? Uh, yeah. There's the weekend. There she blows. Let's hold on to that beautiful weekend. Got ready for him again. Let's hold on to this beautiful weekend, yeah? There's our reform button. We need to escalate the damage just a little bit more. Another Kunai proc, which is great. More poison, which is fantastic. Kunai proc doesn't give me the draw from Pocket Watch, but to be honest. At least in my concerns. Um, we have Weaken and we have Rayform. I might even be able to block without Rayform. Just because of the Weaken. But it's probably... If this is time for Rayform, I'm really behind on damage. That's the problem. Uh... Huh. Let's see. I can probably block a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I'm blocking this without reform. And this is going to allow me to focus on getting damage. And the damage is getting good because he's at 560 life, and we're about to add a lot more poison. The poison is getting stronger. This gives me the next two attacks. I don't have to worry about blocking. Just full attack, even though I have a lot of block in hand. Uh, how much damage is this going to do over the next four turns? It's going to be... Not good enough. It's not good enough. Hmm. So, uh, I don't have enough damage if I have the Uray from now. I don't have a choice. I gotta go full damage, so every strike matters. Actually, it doesn't mean anything to me, because I'm intangible. I have to go full damage. Full damage. And now we might have enough damage. All of a sudden, we might have enough damage. All of a sudden, we might have enough damage. Getting there, but it's still not there yet. Still not there yet. I want to hold it to my calculator camo button, though. It's quite good. If I do Cloak and Dagger here, I can do Pocket Watch and have Calculator Gamble for the next turn. If I find Cloak and Dagger, though, Kunai proc and more damage. 
That's pretty important. And now we hold on to Weaken and this. And we gotta be able to survive the multi-attack because I don't have a way to mitigate that. That's the biggest problem. Alright, if I can survive this... Um, can we get lethal in two turns? It's not possible, right? How do I survive? I need to calculate gamble for the next turn. For the big attack turn. It's imperative. So, I can't even afford to play this. I wish I could do pocket watch, but... All right. Um, all right, 90 is blockable. Ninety's blockable. Spire. He is a snazzy little beast. Okay. We need to end with three. Defect is time. Defect is time. Guys, an hour and 20 minutes. Only needed the best relics in the game to win exactly. Tough bandages and kunai. And a wraith form. 